here we are! Guys, welcome to Bendy and the Ink Machine Workshop. Now, the other spawn point is over this way. <laughs> I love this. Hi everyone, I'm Zerties, and welcome back to Fortnite. So, today's gonna be kind of a special episode. You guys suggested to build Joju Studios from Bendy and the Ink Machine. And I thought it was a pretty cool idea, because um, we got all these tools here that uh, you know, we could make the workshop out of. So I have done all the dirty work, I've collected all the materials that I needed, built... <laughs> A layout, because that took like a few hours, all the uh, coordination and stuff. But everything else should be a bit more simple and fun. <laughs> it's also gonna be an arena, not just a building. It's gonna be where people can fight and battle for survival. <laughs> There's gonna be three spawn points. One's gonna be here in the main entrance. Another one is gonna be in the um, working area, I guess. And another one by the ink machine, which we're not gonna build today, because, you know, it's gonna take forever, but we're gonna build most of it, and I think it's gonna look good. Oh, and also before we begin, guys, if you didn't know, I applied for the Support yes. a Creator program, and now you can finally support me by typing the code Ertius in the Support a Creator tab, which would be really cool, so hope you do that. <laughs> Again, if you don't know what that is, you don't lose anything, but when you buy V-Bucks and spend them, 5% goes, instead of to Epic Games, it goes to your creator that you support, so, you know, would be pretty cool if you did that. <laughs> anyway. Here we go. Let's start from the ground. I thought this would be the best ground because it also can be a ceiling. Check this out. See? I mean, it's not perfect, but <laughs> everything else is not good at all. So this is the best option. Let's copy it and... The freak? Oh. Let us begin our work. Hopefully nothing breaks meanwhile. Hold on, I wanted to do um it sideways. Can I do that? Yes, I can. There we go. It's gonna look a lot better. All right, so we have to fill the ground now and then we can begin, you know, putting walls. As you can see... <laughs> The uh, basic wood ground does not look good at all, or the basic wood buildings. They have a bunch of cracks and stuff, and also the color is a bit wonky. This is the best color I could get, so... Yeah. Should be just gnarly. Also, I have a few screenshots of the game, just to uh, guide us a bit. Right now, I only have to fill, you know, the um, ground, and then will come the detail. And we're almost done. There we go. We have done it. And I think I'm also gonna add this room as well, so we can make a little thingy here too. Look at this! Looks a lot better. Now, let's copy these walls. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the doors, because uh, as you can see, I didn't find any doors that would be on the same wall, except for these, which are, you know, the closest thing. However, you know, we don't want to really see through these doors that are not see-through. Yeah, then came the next best result, which is this one. Stone wall, but, you know, at least the color is similar. Everything else is, the doors themselves are good, but the walls are no. horrible. And from the other side, <laughs> not at all Bendy-esque. So, I guess we're gonna think what we're gonna do about that later. I just wanna put down the main walls for now. I have done this as well in a car life game, if you don't know that. It's a pretty cool game, but it's just that I haven't, you know, been recording it for a while. Because no new updates came out, but there should be some new episodes soon. And we are officially done. Oh, there we go. Forgot these parts. Hold on. So yeah, this area might be a little too drastic, but... <laughs> the thing is that uh, there is a downer area here. Since there is no other way to uh, make that in Fortnite, this is gonna do. Which, you know, in the end, we are building our version of bending machine, so this should be good anyway. We'll see though. I really like the texture. I think it's gonna go well. And as soon as we add detail, Bruh. it's gonna look perfect. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna back up this baby, and then we're gonna, you know, reset, because I don't want to build this at night. And also, you might have noticed that I'm building in the what? sky. <laughs> That's because I want to have, you know, infinite space to uh, expand. Oh, it's gonna look dark in here, isn't it? I'm actually curious, because, um, there is shadows in this game. I could disable them, but I wonder if there is a, you know, a way to light this place up as well. And we are done. Here we go. Pretty dark. I wonder how we can light this place up. Again, I guess we could play without shadows, but... Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look that good. I think this has light as well. Yeah, but um, again, not much. So, it's interesting because Fortnite doesn't really have any um interior light. Well, that could be a problem. Oh, hold on, there we go. Hi. We found it. It's interesting that um they don't use it that much. I guess it isn't needed, but it's interesting. Okay, so we found a perfect building which has, hold on, which has this. Hi. <laughs> Which is gonna be instead of the uh, Joe Drew Studio thing. And also a beautiful trash can. Never thought I would say that, but trash cans are, you know, pretty beautiful when they match the environment. Okay, where the freak is the lamp now? Where'd you go, bud? Here we go. 
<laughs> what the freak? Okay. Let's see how this bad boy last place up. Cause um it's not like too powerful. Hold on. I wanna see how much we'll need. Or how many. What? what? Okay, it's pretty good. Except it's kinda weird <laughs> when you have to place it. Otherwise, yeah. I like it. Okay, let's try and put in the doors. I don't know which option will be the best. Okay, let's get rid of this for a sec. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> hold on. What if I place it here? I mean, it is the best, you know, alternative. What if we have a bunch of them? Yeah, it starts to look kind of weird, doesn't it? I mean, having functional doors is really good, but <sighs> it sucks that it doesn't match. Why did Fortnite not create <laughs> matching doors? Okay, you know what? For now, we're gonna go with the brick one, because um, this is the closest we can get. It's gonna look a little different, but it's gonna be fine. You know, whatever. Now, there's a bunch of archways in the game, which I think there's a bunch in this area, so we're gonna put them down immediately. Now, there is like a table here, which I think we could get around somehow. It's on the third block, which is this one right here? Yeah, I think so. And then, since there are no, you know, big tables in the game, we're gonna use a box, which is gonna be perfect for hiding as well. Check this out. So yeah, we can crouch underneath and, uh, you know, our head will not get dinked. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You know, this is looking good so far. I like this. Even without, you know, the full detail. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of archways in this whole area, so we're gonna put them down. Oh, and then there's a bunch of, um, ventilation rooms. Hold on. No, not rooms, just vents. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, not bad. Now there's like a bunch of holes in the walls in Bend and Ink Machine. We're gonna use these as a replication of it. Yeah, this looks good. I like this. Another one is here somewhere. Hold on. There we go. Let's not forget to back up this as well. Oh, hold on. I think I found something. There we go. Yeah. This is good. This is big enough, I think. We're gonna put like three here. What the crew whammy? Okay. Well. <laughs> I guess it's the best we can get. And now to put up fences, which I think this is the best option we got. Because there are no other fences in the game. That would be like, you know, brown wood. I want to fill this up and put a bunch of laps, because uh, we lagged those a bit. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> I'm really glad I found the um, actual lamps in the game, which are not very commonly used, but it's going to be very useful to us. And I think, hold on. There's like a bunch of lamps in the, uh, on the sign. So, uh, hopefully this is good. Yeah, it's a bushki. Yeah, look at this. This is a brand new look. Okay. Looking good. Dude. <laughs> uh, this is this is turning out so well. I like this a lot. Right now I'm just uh, winging it with the lamps because I don't... <laughs> can't be bothered to take forever to put, you know, exactly where they are in the game. Because frankly, you know, the lamps are not that powerful, so... Wouldn't make a difference. Just having a bunch of lamps regardless is uh, good enough. In my opinion. Now the next thing, I think we can put furniture. Which is yeah. where the fun begins. And also look at this chair. Like, doesn't it look like it was made for Bendy? <laughs> Seriously, dude. And there is a bunch of those guys everywhere. There's one here that's like tipped over. So we're gonna try and do that. Could be like a little cover as well. Well, not much, but... You know. Now then, it's box time. Yeah. I was wondering which one could be the best of these two. This one... It's a bit duller in color, but this one, you know, is a bit weirder in shape. We cannot, like, stack one on top of each other. I guess we could go with this one. It's a bit, you know, cleaner. Or not, nah, scratch that. <laughs> I don't think we have to stack boxes in the game, so we're gonna go with this option. There we go. Yeah, there's one box. There's, like, a little projector here as well, which we're gonna put a box for now. There's, like, a bunch of trash in the ground, which we could put as well. But, of course, before that, I think we need... The shelves done as well. There's one here. Nice. Another one right here, as I remember. And a little thing. Much bigger. Now let's go to the tables, which there are a bunch. I know for a fact there's one here. And there's like a bunch in this area. These tables are much bigger in the um, bending machine, but that's all we have to work with. It's kind of goofy, but you know, when it's not all perfect, it's even better. There's also these um like metal thingies. Shelves? It's like two of them, I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, now I kind of want to start adding the additional room, since we'll put, you know, a bunch of doors that open. It's gonna be the toilet, but um, for now we're gonna leave it like that. Just want to start putting the actual rooms in. See, what we could do, right, is um, put like a bunch of these things around to prevent people from going inside the doors. Or certain doors, because some of them might be a little too much. 
There we go. <laughs> no one can go in. Nope. Perfect solution. And that's all. There we go. All the doors. <laughs> or the rooms that we don't want people to go in. Now I think we should put on the paintings. Dang, there's a lot of detail in this game. <laughs> but yeah, the best paintings I've found are either this or the blue ones, which would kinda... I mean, let's see how it looks, you know? What's the worst that could happen? Probably everything explode and die. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. Okay, <laughs> some of them are a tragedy to work with, it's like so, but some of them actually, you know, turned out. Yeah, that's good. Whatever, dude. Also forgot a bunch of trash cans around. We're gonna just put... Seems like this place lacks a bit of detail, so we're gonna put additional detail. Since, you know, all the objects that we use are small compared to the actual objects. So just putting a bunch more will sort of compensate for it, you know? Anyway, let's go ahead and put some trash around, shall we? Let's, like, trash this place a bit. Because <laughs> uh, we're missing a bit of detail in that part. I'm gonna put, like, a bunch. One here. Just because we don't have like a cutout that we could use, we're gonna put a bunch of other objects there. Yeah, you might want to clean our table there, dude. Just saying. <laughs> Everything that we don't have, we're gonna compensate with trash. We could also have some barrels as a cover. Um, that could be useful. We're gonna make a bunch of covers in this game. Another part would be this. We're gonna use this as like a bunch of uh, paper sitting around in the game. <laughs> Just a bunch. Just a bunch, like a crap ton. Also, a fancy table, isn't it? It's, it's the best. And I think we're kind of nearing to the end. I mean, I mean, back this up. Now the barrels. Oh, there's locks as well. And chests. All of these could be used. Alright, okay. There's gonna be a cover there. Might want to have one here as well. I don't think there are logs in, <laughs> in the game. Everything's powered by ink, but... Could be like a teeny tiny cover here. Just a few decorations. Oh. Oh, no. oh, that does not look good. Nope. Okay. I think we're generally done. We just need to now implement the whole gameplay system. I actually found a really cool fence, which I could replace with the other thing that I found. Didn't see this before. This works like a charm. Now, the last thing that I need is probably the toilet, which you wouldn't really say in a realistic scenario, but we need a toilet, which I don't know if we're gonna get. Ah, yes we are. Okay. Uh. Now what we need is, as I said, the spawn points. For now, we're gonna have only three. Uh, hopefully nothing breaks if I place this. Okay, let's customize this. It's gonna be team one, invisible and accept. Okay, right in here. Set it up, it's gonna be team two, and another one here. Team three. Now, we want is weapons, right? Hold on, I'm gonna back up and then go back to the hub. Because I wanna clear my inventory and then we're gonna do the weapons. And we always spawn here, how convenient. Since this is gonna be a close range sort of area, I guess we could have this as an option. This thingy, which is pretty fun, you know. <laughs> Doesn't require much accuracy because it's gonna be close range. I guess we could have like a slurp each, right? And a grenade. Like, maybe two grenades each. Let's see. How do I only add like, um, two grenades instead of five? It always wants to add five. I mean, I guess it could be five, whatever. Like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Okay, I think that's the perfect amount. Well, there might be a bit too many shells, but... No, I've got an idea. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna drop all of this garbage here. Delete, you stupid. There's gonna be very little ammo, and a bunch of ammo for a pistol, which is gonna be like a gun if you run out of ammo. And create a chest. This bad boy should be enough. And I think that's it. Um, check the options and make sure the ammo is not infinite. Start game. Here we are. Guys, welcome to Bendy and Ink Machine Workshop. Let's open this chest, so... It doesn't make any noise. Just a perfect amount of stuff. And also think we cannot destroy things, so... That's why I added the grenades. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now, the other spawn point is over this way. <laughs> I love this. I love how this turned out. Check this area out as well. <laughs> okay, so some of the rooms, as I said, are not accessible, so we cannot do anything about it, you know? It's really cool. Can we throw a thing inside? Subushki! <laughs> we can. In case anybody somehow gets inside, you know, we gotta punish them somehow. I like the fact that nothing is destructible. It's really cool. All right, shotgun. Yeah, throw blanky. Close the door, <laughs> and we're oh. out. What do you guys think of this area? 
I don't know if um, Epic Games like allows people to play on other people's islands. For example, if you guys can try it out, I would love to see that, you know? It's like a cool little arena. Anyway guys, I think it's gonna be it for this episode, I've been recording for <laughs> two hours now, so hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, give it a like, we're gonna play this map with uh, our gang later, so don't miss that. But yeah, for now, I'll see you in the next one. Not one. It has 200 damage with a headshot. Okay. He's reviving. We wanna get him. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> when I find this guy, it's like, ooh, drop loot, you know? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna move on now. Support on video. First thing I need.